In this Excel video, I'm going to show you how to use the Excel take function. Let's get started. So here I have some information about a small business. And let's say I would like to take some of this information and put it somewhere else in my spreadsheet. In a prior video, I taught you how to do this by using the drop function. And take and drop are kind of similar in a way. With drop, you're choosing to copy information except for rows or columns that you specify that you want to drop. With take, it's different. Instead of specifying what you want to drop, you're specifying what you want to take. So let's get started in cell G1. I'll just click on that, type equals, take left parenthesis. Next, Excel is expecting an array, so I'll click and drag to highlight my array. With that selected, I'll put in a comma. Now Excel is expecting a number of rows. How many rows do I want to take? How about four? Now I could just end there with a right parenthesis, tap enter, and the first four rows are taken and included over here. And if I browse over here, you can see all of the information is displayed over here on the right. Now I'm gonna click on cell G1 and go up to the formula bar to make some changes to my formula. In this example, I did not specify the number of columns, but I could have done so. So I'm gonna put a comma after the four and say that I just want to take the first four columns. So I'll put in the number four. So here I'm gonna get four rows, four columns. Tap enter, I get the first four rows, leaving off David and Eve and I get just the first four columns, leaving off salary. Now, what if I want to take not the first four rows and columns, but maybe the last four rows and columns? I can go back to G1 and click and go up to the formula bar, and I'm gonna change this from four comma four to minus four comma minus four. And so now it's gonna count from the bottom and from the right. So how many rows? It'll be Eve, David, Charlie, and Bob. How many columns? Salary, department, age, and name. So I tap enter on the keyboard, Eve, David, Charlie, Bob. That's perfect. And I get salary, department, age, and name. Now, just like with the drop function, it is possible to use this function on a different spreadsheet. So I can go to sheet two, for example, on cell A1, type equals, take, left parenthesis, and then I can go to sheet one, click and drag to select the array or range that I want to work with, and then go back to sheet two. And unfortunately, it's saying sheet two here, even though I had clicked on sheet one. So I'm gonna change that to sheet one. And then after the six, I'll put in a comma, and I'll say, I want to take the first five rows, comma, and the first three columns. Right parenthesis, tap enter, I have the first five rows, the first three columns. So there are several ways you could use this Excel take function. For example, let's say you've got some data on employee sales performance. You could easily extract the top number of performers from a sales report. So the top five salespeople and how well they've been selling lately. Of course, you might want to sort your data first in that case. You could also use it to extract the most recent entries from a logbook or a timeline, or you could extract specific columns columns or rows for a summary report, and it goes on and on. The take function is very useful. So I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member, but you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to take this opportunity to say a special thank you to my super techie and ultra techie channel members. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. Here's a list of all of my current super techie and ultra techie channel members. I think there's actually zero ultra techie. I could be wrong, but I would love to have some. So thanks for your support. I appreciate all that you do to support the channel. 